In this session, we're going to look at how we can leverage microstation line types within Civil 3D. Now, I say Civil 3D, but what we look at here will actually work with any AutoCAD-based application. I've just launched Civil 3D. I'd like to start by opening a DGN file. I'll do that by opening the application menu. I'll come down and choose Open, and then I'll choose DGN. I will then navigate to my desktop where I've got a DGN file called Legend. This represents a simple legend of some line types. Let me click Open. In the Import DGN Settings dialog box, I am going to keep all the defaults. For the most part, I'm going to leave this upper left box unchecked. That's because we're actually importing this DGN content. And by leaving this unchecked, it will import it into an empty AutoCAD file. It won't be bringing it into my Civil 3D template. I'm not going to be doing anything with any attachments. There aren't any. Master units is fine. I'm not going to make any adjustments to the mapping. I'm just going to click OK. Once the file's been imported, I'm going to double-click the mouse wheel to do a zoom extents. Here we can see that legend, but as you can see, the line types are not displaying. Let me center this on screen again. To make these line types display, we are going to leverage an RSC file. An RSC is very similar to the LIN file used in AutoCAD to define the line types. RSC is a resource file that's used in MicroStation to do a similar thing. Let me minimize my Civil 3D for just a second. Out here on the desktop, I was given an RSC file that contains the line type definitions used in this legend. What we're going to do is add this RSC file to our support search path in Civil 3D. First, I'm going to store it in a logical folder on my hard drive. Let me bring up Windows Explorer, and then on the C drive, I've got a folder called JWB Civil 3D Standards. In here, I've got a folder called RSC Files. Now that I'm in the folder, I am going to right-click and drag the RSC file into this directory, and I'll choose Move. I will then close Windows Explorer. Now, I placed that file on my local machine, but I could also put this on a network drive if I wanted to share it with other people. Let's return to Civil 3D. From here, I'm going to visit the Options. I'll right-click and select Options. And then on the Files tab, I'll open the Support Files Search Path. Let's drag down to the bottom of the list, and then I'll choose Add. I want to add a path to that RSC folder. I'll choose Browse, we'll go to the C drive, JWB Civil 3D Standards, I'll select that RSC Files folder, and I'll click OK. I will then click OK. I have to do one more thing, I have to close out of Civil 3D, we won't bother saving changes, and then we'll relaunch it. Now that Civil 3D is aware of the location of that resource file, let's try and import that DGN file again. I'll open the Application menu, I'll come down to Open, I'll choose DGN, I'll select the legend. We're going to keep all the same settings we had before, and I'll click OK. I will then double-click the mouse wheel to do a zoom extents, and now we can see that those line types display. Not only do they display, but we can also leverage them within the Civil 3D environment. For instance, I'm just going to draw a quick polyline here. We'll put an arc on that, and then I will create a couple copies of this. I will then go to the clipboard and we'll use the Match Properties tool, and I'll select this line type that's got the complex symbology on it. We'll apply it to this polyline. Let's try this line type. This is a special one that has symbology only at the endpoints. We'll select this line type and apply it to this polyline. Okay. Now that it's here, I can grip edit this, and each of these line types will function very similar to how they would natively within MicroStation. And then finally, we'll do one more. I'll grab this railroad line type, which represents parallel line work, and I'll apply it to this polyline. So if your workflow requires the use of MicroStation line types, see if you can get access to an RSC file. If you can, you can easily leverage the appearance and functionality of those line types within Civil 3D or any AutoCAD-based application.